you have information about average and standard deviation uh, drawn from a sample, you can fairly accurately estimate the parameters of a population. Now let us understand how to calculate the standard deviation. To get the formula for standard deviation, let us take an example. Uh, let us say that you order uh, some pen uh, from two vendors and you have very clearly specified the length of the pen as uh, 7 inches. So 7 inches is your requirement. Now if uh, uh, you take a sample from two vendors, there are two vendors, vendor A and vendor B. Vendor A, uh, the lengths received from a vendor A. Uh, uh, are let us say 5, 6, 7, 7, uh, 8 and 9 and uh, vendor B samples are measuring uh, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9 and 9. Now if I ask you which vendor is closer to what you want? You want it 7 inches. So who is closer to what you want? So your answer probably would be vendor A. But how would you prove that? If you take an average, average is for both uh, 7 inches. Uh, if you calculate the average, x bar, 7 inches for A and 7 inches for vendor B. If you calculate the range also, range also is same for both. 9 minus 5, that is 4. And uh, for vendor B also, 9 minus 5, that is 4. So both average and standard deviation fail to tell you uh, that uh, there is a difference between the variation in vendor A and B. So what should we do? In order to calculate the uh, spread in any data, one of the ways to do that is that uh, I find the center of the data first and then calculate the distance of each data point from the center. Yeah, And once I calculate the distances of each data point from the uh, average or the mean of the data, I will take the sum total of all those uh, distances and uh, maybe average, uh, uh, take an average of sum total of all those distances that might give me a good information about the variation present in the process. So for example, if uh, there's a, a banquet hall uh, in, in a hotel and uh, 10 people are uh, closely uh, sitting together close to each other, the spread I would say that it would be less. Uh, and uh, banquet hall which has got people spread out like people are spread across all whole of the banquet hall uh, so the spread would be more in this case how would i calculate the spread by finding the center and calculating the distance of each of the person from the center and taking the sum total of that divided by number of people so that might be a measure of uh, a variation in my data set so same thing if i express mathematically and i uh, calculate the distance of each data point in my vendor uh, sample uh, and uh, subtract the uh, mean from each of the data point. So first one is 5 minus uh, 7 that is minus 2. Second is 6 minus 7 that is minus 1. Uh, third is 7 minus 7 0 then again 7 minus 7 0 and then uh, uh, 8 minus 7 is 1 and 9 minus 7 is uh, 2. And if I take the sum total Oh, it's zero. Uh, the same is true for the other vendor also. If I take the sum total of uh, uh, all the uh, distances of uh, each sample from the mean, uh, f in first case it is uh, minus two, second case it is again minus two, uh, zero, zero, and again two and two. So if I take the sum total of all the, all the distances, then it just totals up to a zero. So I failed to achieve my objective of finding the variation. So what I would do is I will uh, square the distances to remove the minus sign and maybe that might work. And uh, once I square the distances, the first one in the vendor A, first uh, case is uh, minus 2 into minus 2, that is 4. The second is minus 1 into minus 1, that is 1. And then 0, 0, uh, 1 and uh, 4. And the second case, it is minus 2 multiplied by minus 2, it is 4, then again 4, and then 0, 0, 4 and 4. Now, if I take the sum total of all the distances, uh, squares of the distances, I will find that uh, uh, A is uh, 10 and uh, B is 16. Yes, that sum of squares is an indication of uh, the spread present in my data set. Obviously, the sample size here in both the cases was 6 and 6. So, if I want to get a correct idea of the spread in the sample, I would divide 
uh, both the sum of squares uh, by uh, number of samples. Now, when the number, when we are dealing with the samples, then we would always divide it by number of samples minus one. Uh, this is uh, something to do with the degrees of freedom, uh, which uh, I may not be explaining in this uh, session. Uh, I've talked about uh, that in a, a separate session, but uh, uh, n minus one uh, you'll be using as a denominator when you are dividing the sum of squares of a sample to calculate the uh, variance in the data. So if I take the sum of square divided by number of samples minus one, this is an estimate of the variance of my population. And uh, if I uh, uh, take a square root, uh, then this would give me the uh, standard deviation. So the standard deviation formula would be square root of sum of squares of all the distances of all the data divided by n minus one. So that is for the sample if uh, you are dealing with the samples and if you have got the uh, data of whole population then you don't have to divide it by n minus 1 then you can always divide it by n. So uh, for the for the standard deviation of the population and if you have got uh, the information of whole population then the standard deviation that is sigma would be square root of sum of squares of uh, uh, all the distances from the mean of all the data points divided by n. So that was your sample size formula. Now you don't have to really calculate so much. You have got Excel sheet, you have got mini tab. In just one click, you will get your standard deviation.